Hi, Sean Rasmussen here from Learn How to Blog. I've had a lot of people ask me about how you make these auto awesome little clips on Google Plus. So here's a quick video running through the basics of how it's done so that you can do it straight after this video. As you can see this video here, or this little auto awesome image video that I've put into Google Plus, I just uploaded it and it's just a series of images that are very close together that then get put together like a movie. Let's show you how that is done. I'm going to do a whole new one. The first thing to do is go into your Google Plus profile and go into settings. In there we're going to look for the settings to set your images for auto awesome. Scroll down to the section that says photos and videos and then look under auto enhance and auto awesome. These are the settings I have. I've clicked the Auto Enhance to Normal just to give the images a bit better look so to speak and also Auto Awesome. Have that ticked. At that stage that's all you really need to do. From there on let me show you how to do the rest. In your images you need to upload a series of images something between a dozen or more images all taken with the camera fairly still. These images are just taken with an iPhone. I took them yesterday and those are about a dozen or so. Now my iPhone settings bring these photos out to about 3 megapixels each. So I want to show you how you can reduce the size so you're not uploading 30 meg of photos. So to save bandwidth but also to save storage on Google+. And this is what I do. I've typed in image resizer for Windows and it takes me to this site imageresizer.codeflex.com I'll put a link below this video for you. Now at the time of this video this is the current version that I'm using. I simply went here and this is for Windows 7 and the best way to find out whether you are on 32-bit or 64-bit is to go to the start button on your PC and click computer and after that you right click and click properties. In here you'll be able to see what system type you have. In this case I've got a 64-bit operating system. I then download the appropriate image resizer for that. Now this is for Windows 7. Now I'm going to grab the images that I took yesterday and here they are. And here is a sequence of photos that I've taken, approximately 40 odd photos of a lamb sucking on my son's fingers. I thought that would be pretty cute for Google+. Plus. Let's make a video out of that. All these images are taken over about 10 or 12 seconds. That's about it. So I've taken the image resizer which I have downloaded. I've installed it on my computer very straightforward process and all I do now is click on the first image and hold down my shift button and click on the last image I want included that picks up all of the images I then right click anywhere on these images and I look for the text that says resize pictures I click it and now I'm just going to select small fits an 854 by 480 screen click OK and now as you can see every second one has resized now I'm just going to click outside of the images and I'm going to view them by a list. And these were all copied images so I'm quite happy to delete the original. So you can see all the new ones have got small next to them. So I'm just going to go and click on each one that I don't want. I hold down the control button and I click on all the ones that don't have small next to it. Now I've clicked on them all. Of course you could also sort this page by date and time and you'll find that all the small ones will be at the top. In this case I'm just going to hit delete and, and these will all be gone. Bear in mind that I already had copied these from another location so I still have all the originals. Now I can go and view them again. Here they all are and I've just simply changed the view whether I view them as large, extra large or as a list. Then I go back to Google Plus, I'm in Photos and I'm going to Upload Photos. I can drag the photos in 
in this case I will reduce this a little bit I'll just click on these and I'll drag them in as you can see 43 photos drop them in and now they are uploading while they are uploading I just take the opportunity to give it a new album name so that this particular auto awesome movie will go into its own album now they are all uploaded I just click done and at this stage I make sure to share the album because if I don't share it this stage I've done it before and I've simply skipped I've then just lost all the uploads in this case I'm going to share it I'll put a caption in there for the album and then I decide where to share it to so make sure it goes public so that people can see it and then you can decide whether or not you actually share it to other circles I just put to public my circles and extended circles and then I click share as you can see here are all of the images and when they all run together they will make a movie now I'll just go back to Google Plus I'll go and click on the profile button which will show my profile and as you can see this has appeared here now this is the new album that I have uploaded and this is the old auto awesome video that I did just before now we're going to wait for this one to be created into an auto awesome process and Google Plus will actually do that for you automatically because we went in and changed the settings as you can probably remember and we went down and ticked the box under photos and videos for auto awesome let's pause for a couple of minutes and I'll come back when this video has been processed right let's go back and have a look in the photos area now as you can see here here is the old beer drinking lamb video that I put in this morning and this here is the auto awesome video that was made by Google Plus simply by me uploading 43 images now the key here is that we use the image resizer that means that I uploaded 43 images that originally were about 3 megapixels each from an iPhone and they've been resized to about 84, 85 kilobytes each that's approximately 1 40th of the size of the original image so it's worth getting that image resizer and as you can see 43 images put together like this has made a movie so I'll go and share that on Google Plus and hopefully I'll get a lot of plus ones and shares and all the rest and what has this got to do with learning how to blog probably nothing whatsoever it's got a lot to do with the social media though of connecting with people and having fun enjoy yourself I'm Sean Rasmussen from learn how to blog thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another video